Yes. Um, an interesting question on food. Um, in the Holy Quran, two animals have been condemned for their behavior. One, the swine. Second, the, the ape. Now we find that the Holy Quran only uh, condemns eating the flesh of the swine. But in Africa and also in South America, the flesh of apes is eaten very much. So what should be the attitude of Ahmadis towards the flesh of, of uh, monkeys and apes? You see, they should understand that Islamic teaching is based not only on halal haram, but is based also on the concept of tayyab. So in the Holy Quran, it is repeatedly said, Kulu halal tayyaba. That which is not only permissible, but which is tayyab also. So, monk, of course, swines are haram, but monkeys are not haram apparently, but they are not tayyab. So, all these traditions, local traditions, should be completely stamped out from the society in which some people claim that because it is not forbidden by name, so one should eat it. Many filthy things are not forbidden by name. But you can see them to be filthy, why should you eat them? It's Muslim standard of eating should be much higher than the rest of the society.